Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I want to teach you how we can easily add quotes and how we can generate invoices in monday.com and how we can operate with invoices and uh, also the budgeting and quotes. So the first thing that you want to do is let's say I'm in monday.com and I have the deals here. Uh, we want to click here and let's say we have the deal name and when you're going to have it, you're going to have quotes and invoices. Now you can always click on add view and you can go to view center, but you would find it here, quotes and invoices. Now here, when you have it, what we're going to do next, you want to click create a document. And now uh, the first thing we're going to do is name a document. One quote, it's going to be, let's say a deal invoice. Now, when you have it, uh, we are going to date issued is let's say today. You can add a description and also company logo. Uh, then company name. So if you have like bill from, let's say this is going to be mine company then you would add all the information like if you're gonna have it in your settings you should find it here and then company name build to who do you want to uh build to so i'm going to write it here deal name two and you see the company the customer name like this custom company address and you just fill everything based on uh, the columns, right? And phone number I added here. So if you can have like all that here, you should find it easy. Then item description. So let's say this is going to be a YouTube uh, videos deal quantity 10 and price, let's say $100. Now, when I have it, I can simply add a new line item. That's pretty straightforward and easy. You can also add adjustment. You can add a discount. You can add a what, what, or you can add a fee. So I can add a discount. So let's say there would be discount percentage 10%. Okay. I can simply add uh, 20%. And I can add a fee. So let's say fee is going to be uh, 35%, right? So here you can also add a note. And let's say we have it. Now, what you can do, all, of course, guys, is to go to top left and click settings. And you can change uh, if it's euro, uh, then if it's a tax or what then shipping, handling, and uh, you can remove monday.com branding from your documents. So that's how you can do it in the settings. You can also add a feedback. Uh, you can view how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. Build to, build from, deal invoice. Now in edit, I can add a note. So this is invoice I am sending you, please, pay it and send please pay it, whatever just like making things up you can always like change the text and edit here and you can also add a signature now I can click here on the top right and click download so you can download it and you can save it so I'm going to like easily save it And that's pretty much it, how we can do it. Now, when you have it, you can, you will be able to see also the option to send the email. So you can, uh, like download it and send it by yourself. Or if you have connected email and stuff, you would find option to send it here. Now, how did I actually get the bill to here? Right? So that's the question. 
So uh, I'm going to show you straight away. Let's say this is going to be uh, deal name three, and this is also pretty similar. So I'm going to delete the contact here. But my recommendation have a mirror core room all like connecting the boards together. There is a tutorial on it if you want to. You again, you open it, you create quickly quotes and invoice. And again, you choose here, right? So you see the deals board here. And we have the stage owner deal value. And then this is the contact board that we directly have under the deal name free. So when we come here, I want to explain you something. In the deal name free, we have the contact Phoenix Levy and account HSBF. When I'm going to open the deal number three, I can see the choose a column and these are the rows, right? So we have the deals board here. We have the contacts board here that we directly connected. And with that, with that contact, we got connected uh, the company of it. So Phoenix Levy, customer name, that's here. Company name, it's here. Customer company address. And again, you fill everything up. So that's how we can do it. Now, when I go even further back, I can simply, let's say, how did you do it, right? So what is this? This is like simply contact the board. So I can see click here. I can add dependencies or mirroring board. Connect columns. I will delete this one. Click here, dependent on. And you can have like what is dependent on. But what you can do is to connect boards. And this is what we are going to do. So let's say I'm going to add connect a board. And I'm going to select uh, contact here, right? Connect boards. And then you can create a mirror column. And let's say this is going to be type priority group board accounts. So let's say I want to have a company, right? So again, I can add medicine and it will automatically mirror me everything. If you want to have it like this, of course, if you can have a dependent on So you can have it dependent on if you want to. So that's something you can do. So this is similar that it's going to connect from the contacts board. And now if I'm going to click on the deal name five quotes and invoices, I see the Lina cross and above here. So you just have to connect the board here. If something wasn't uh, sure, let me down below in the comments, guys. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is how you can do the Monday.com invoicing and budgeting. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.